but it's for the library. Mom accepted yeah. it for the library. Oh, yeah. Ellen Bryan? Is yeah. that how old is that? Yeah, that is Ellen Bryan. That is Ellen Bryan. That one probably doesn't have a year on it, or does it? Yeah, it does. 84. 84. Yeah, I know. There's the picture. Yeah, that's right. Same photo. Or same uh, painting. That's what used to sit right by the desk. Yeah. This would have been. Would that have been in which town office? In would it 84? have been at the front of the old community hall? Because didn't they move to the front of the old community hall at one point? Well, they had that one room in the basement. It started off in the cold room. Stairs, it was pretty small. And then did they go to the end of the um, community hall in the basement, which eventually became town office at one point. I don't know when they moved to the old Catholic church. 1970-something. Well, then that one would have been at 84, would have been in the, the old Catholic But that church. still had to be in one of the older buildings with the picture on it. In 84, I would think. This Maybe the, it could be in the new town office because it was still a room downstairs. Oh, did they go across the road into the new town office? Yeah, first? yeah they had oh, a building okay. there oh, okay. Yeah, before they went to the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. They did move around, didn't they? That's from the Catholic Church. That was the 50th. Oh, okay. I know we got hmm. there. Okay. Doesn't say who they are, right? And does it say where it's at? Which building? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. So that's interesting. It gives the names of the people who were there at the very beginning. Yep. It was was it Bola or Viola? Bola. Bola. Okay. Was she the grade one teacher? Yeah. Okay. For many years. Amy Calloway was um, my grade one teacher. I think was that Fred or not? No, that wasn't. What was her name? Amy Calloway, I think, was. Um, oh my God, I can't remember. Um, they lived on Main Street in the old Craig House. I remember Mrs. Calloway. Harry Calloway. I know I had Mrs. Calloway. Um, Wasn't that Clarence's mom? No. She was Fred and Lois. Oh, Fred and Lois. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's who I had. Yeah. She had a the yardstick. I, I don't think, so. think that. Um, I don't think Amy was uh, was a teacher, and, and Mrs. Oldfield wasn't either. I don't think. Oh, Mrs. Oldfield was a teacher. Was she? Oh yeah. In Cochrane. In Cochrane. Okay. I think my I kids had her, but or okay. Doreen had Doreen had her. Doreen had okay. like Jujic, yeah. I don't remember yeah. that. Because that's a familiar. that's a Cocker name, isn't it? Old Fields. Oh yeah. 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 Didn't yeah. they live across the track? Yep. Yeah. Either there or it's west that end of town. Mm. No, they lived across the tracks. They were across the tracks. Old Fields and Blatchford's and Hardesby. Yeah. 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 Rushville's. Jesus. Yeah. Steve's. That's them. Howes. Yeah. Clark's. Maybe a little background wouldn't hurt, because about, what was it, six months, 12 months ago, some CHAPS members realized that the name of the library had changed, mm -hmm. and asked some questions about it. Um, I guess the old sign is still in the back of the library, because I went by there tonight, but the name on the front is the Cochrane. And when you Cochrane step up in the front, it's on the street, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The old one is over the main door when you come in, I think. Exactly. Yeah. But apparently the name of the library has always been the Cochrane Library, according to oh. the new Chair. librarians or what? The new librarians, yes. Hmm. Uh, and when I've been talking to members of the library board, they said they don't have any real history of the, the people that established the library, which is a major shame. So I thought that calling this kind of group together might help alleviate that issue 
and restore some of the history that's in that library because all the old artifacts are in the way from view practically, yep. which is kind of a shame, I believe. See, that article there, I think, gives you a really good um, outline of how it started. They call it a room closet, but I think it was the coal shed <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs in the old community. Because you went out from outside down those stairs. Yeah, to the north side. It was a, you walked down, yeah. and it was yeah. to your right, or straight ahead if you could. Yeah. I don't think you could go straight ahead. I, I'm not sure, but I thought that was the old coal, you know, when they had a coal furnace in there, but. So what is the year there, Dave, that this is the first in the old field, etc. cetera, when they started, was it 1915? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this one here was from the paper. So this was 1950, was it? This says November 25th. 1950. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, this was written 1950, but yeah. Yeah. Good. And whether that's for that same event. Later, that one would be 2000. Yeah. yeah. This was November 22nd, 2000. Which grandmother still alive? No. no. So that, yeah, so that picture is, was taken prior to. Yeah. Yeah. So this must have been a donation made to the library. some of this information. But if you all have stories about you know, your ancestors, maybe I'd like to record that and uh, transcribe that and provide that. Do you mind starting? Well, I think I've told you a number of times that I just remember Mum and your grandmother going to Calgary on the bus to buy books and also sitting with Mum in that little room at the bottom of the stairs when she was looking after the library yeah. and waiting and then they used to put all the plastic covers on them. And, yeah. You know, they cover the jackets. And then you have the little yeah. cards that yeah. you know, stamped it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure all libraries are this way, but that's the way I remember the old library. The books were stacked yes. really high. Well, yeah. I mean, it was very little room. So it must have been all where there, I don't remember where there were stacks in the there must have been one or two, yeah. and a little aisles, like yeah. Yeah. But not many. Yeah. Not many, but like my sister Linda wrote, and we came to Cochrane in 1950, because um, Martin Hatz got a job with the CPR. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to read it? Linda's <coughs> quite worried. Quite <coughs> In the early 50s, the Hanson family moved from the rural community of Butte, Alberta, from a farm, and moved to Cochrane, Alberta. Martin, the father, worked for the CPR on the previous summer and was uh, got a, an available for a, a full-time position. Martin traveled to Cochrane to prepare living accommodations for his wife, Catherine, and four kids at that time, Linda, Eileen, Alan, and Faye, and Ernie was on the way. <coughs> In order to keep costs of living, uh, they bought the Catholic Mass, <coughs> which was located at the bottom of the Cochrane Hill. A vehicle had already driven into the house, <laughs> and the Catholic Church has decided it must be moved. It also 
He also purchased a lot in the west end of town, which is now the parking lot for the beach. They came home and had an auction for the family farm and moved to Cochrane. Then Eileen Allen Fay completed their school year at Butte and the house was moved. Ernest was born and the family moved. The Cochrane Library was located in the basement of the community hall and became an important part of the first summer in Cochrane. I, meaning Linda, would go to the library at 2 p.m. when it opened and take out two books, which was all she was allowed to borrow. At that time, we were still living above the pool hall. We lived above the pool hall, <laughs> and we lived in a cabinet <laughs> for a while. But at the same time, the Nielsens moved to town. <laughs> I would read the books, I have supper, and go back to the library in the evening to get two more books. It would have to last me till Wednesday. Um, when the library opened, and the hours of the library were Monday, 2 to, two to 5, and in the evening, 7 to 9. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Doreen and Larry were born to complete the family. As we used the library for recreation uh, and research for school projects, our mother, Catherine Hansen, became an active member of the library board. I've included a picture, which is the one there, of Mom, Dorothy Steves, and Emily Lapwell. And Margaret Beatty, I think, saps it. <laughs> Catherine's family is proud of uh, mother's commitments to the library and the commitment to the community work she work she met. Thank you for the opportunity to recognize her in this way. Sincerely, Linda Steeps, Nee Hansen. Yeah, that's interesting. That's some interesting information, like hours open. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. 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 It seems to me, I remember Bernice saying that you could only take out so many books yes. at a time. <laughs> Yeah. To, so well, it was just a small, thing. like, I mean, if somebody loaded up an armful and they would be somebody else. Slows down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And Linda was a great reader. That I came here for grade two, so I probably took out the same book every week. Mm. <laughs> Are there any more? Um, you well, this one was Mom's, and she must have wrote this for one of my daughters. Um, I started, and it's a list of the authors she would read and why. And it is like, and I read a lot of these same ones too. And when she was in the lodge, I used to have to get puzzles for my dad, and he'd only do MB puzzles, and I'd have to go to the library and get books for my mom. And the people on staff would help me, but they had trouble finding a book that didn't have her name on the card. That <laughs> <laughs> she'd already read. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that she'd already read. <laughs> and heaven forbid you do the same puzzle or read the same book twice. But um, you don't want to really read this whole long list of her authors. <laughs> no, what else does she say there? Um, oh, let's see. She started out reading Elsie Dinmore, I don't know that one, and a note about Alberta. And that, but her favorite ones were Irish stories, mm -hmm. Nora Roberts and Barbara Taylor Bradford, and down here, uh, Jack Higgins, yeah. and, but it's, it's a list. So, I mean, to her, books were very, very, and then she was yeah. trying to encourage. Huh. Yep. That's in that photo. That's interesting. <laughs> and there was a black and white one here too of the house that I can't. Uh, it must be before it was moved. Because mm -hmm. yep. that the hill in the background. Oh my. Who's, whose house is that? Uh, well, I, I don't know. And there's like two big buildings. And Eileen had these articles, but she didn't send them down, and they were Cochrane. I don't know if you can access that from Cochrane this week, April 27, 1988. And it was written by Wally Lepp. Uh, so these would be later ones, and 2000. Is that that article there, maybe? I'm not sure. April 27? No, it was in November.
What I'd love to do, if you'll allow it, for our own use, I'd love to make copies of this stuff and then provide copies to the library. I believe that's what you're interested in. And this other was just from the lodge. That's Mum drinking tea and Mum with Lydia Graham for a treat oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> but Lydia Graham, I, I, it would be interesting to find out who was on town council when they started to pay them because they were paid $5 a shift. Do you know when? I don't know when, but... See, I don't remember does Mum it, getting paid. But does it say Ian Brooker? Is that what it says? Well, maybe, because there must have been an article from Ian Brooker, too. Because yeah. um, I wrote that down when Eileen was talking to me. Yeah. I mean, it was always volunteers. Yeah. 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 Because I know Lydia Graham, when she was on, actually saw that the lodge got a pension plan. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, some of them were thinking... Yeah. yeah. Uh, an article from Linda from Ian Brooker in 1985. Okay. So that, yeah. But I don't like I I mean, didn't mail hers down. I didn't research that. I hope that's easy. But I mean, if you got the dates, you could probably you probably could, yeah. Yeah, I think so because when you look at yeah, this, this that, slope of the hill there. Does that look like Nagy's? That other one, Nagy's had that round. This one. Roof one, one, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, I okay, think and then. Except I think the, the image is true. Unless they had is, yeah. already lifted but not moved yet, yeah. kind of thing. Huh. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh. Yeah, I remember when they moved that house because that was a big deal. I I don't think I'd seen a house move before. Well, in town. well no, it was. We were moved it, yeah. What, what yeah. year did you move in then? Well, nine, must have been 1950, because it was the year Ernie was born. So that was before the highway went through then. So these pictures yes. must not have been developed for quite a bit later. Cause they, well, yeah, because the date on here is later. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, and because you have the film. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. hmm. we didn't, probably didn't live above the, <laughs> the pool hall for more than a year or six months or whatever. And then the, wasn't Texaco, what was the service station on the corner there? Esso. Esso? Yeah, yeah. yeah. those little cabins. You guys were in Nelson's cabin. Or, uh, or a cabin yeah. on Nielsen's, yeah. we're in another Nelson's. cabin, yeah. Where both was the pool hall? Pool hall? Right, straight north of where that barbershop is now, it's in Telus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not the old yeah, pool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think it started off as a, um, a livery stable, and then it was I, Civil Motors, and then it became... Did it get moved? What got moved to Heritage Park from there? Nothing there. Far Something home. from There's, uh, the, um, the blacksmith shop. The blacksmith shop, not okay. not only, I think some of the boards yeah. that had been oh, branded, oh, wasn't yeah. the whole building. The whole building, okay. Just some no, and the old collector and hand fire pump is there. Yeah, and I think they built uh, a sort of a replica of the old fire hall at um, Heritage Park. So. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't allow to take the pool halls at the meat <laughs> shop. <laughs> well, that pool hall must have been there for a while, though, because I remember babysitting there. Up, well, I, upstairs there, because it was a family living up I there. I mean, I went to school at Harvey Lynn, and they were living there in the late 40s, early 50s. Upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, they were yeah. upstairs. His dad was cutting hair downstairs, yeah. and the pool hall was behind. Was still, yeah. But prior to that, the old um, Brody was on Main Street, beside Hawson's Hardware, what was the Chinook Cafe. It used to be divided into two. This is Alan's tea room was on one side and the barbershop was on the other. And I remember yeah. going to there when I was five or six and I screamed because I didn't like to get my hair cut. My hair <laughs> just hated it. I remember going to the lens and putting the board across oh, yeah. the seat. That's right. To get Plunk my it down. I don't remember the one on the front street. No. 
that would have been, I would think, in the mid 40s, 46, 47, somewhere in there. I was too low. Yeah, yeah you were, didn't get your hair. <laughs> probably your mother cut it. Yeah, that's, yeah, probably did. But this changing the name of the library, I live in McGonagall Heights and I've been there 15 years and it's always been McGonagall Heights condo. Well, we have a new board and they wanted to invest some money and to invest the, the reserve fund, they couldn't do it with a titled name. They had to have a numbered account. So we're now condominium plan, da, da, da. So it's going to be... So I have a feeling that's happened with the library. Is that... It sounds to me like that, wasn't it? Wasn't that the excuse? Uh, that? I don't know. Where we are, we're in condominium, but we're called Bears Ball Man Estate. Yeah. Exactly. And you don't have a condominium plan? Well, there's a, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well wait until they change crap. that. <laughs> we, we just changed it over a while. Yeah? Yeah. So we're still... Some of us are fighting it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm stubborn. <laughs> well, so it is a shame you lose those names. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, I sort of understood that the name change was made to comply with sort of the rest of the problem and problems rather. Well, maybe, maybe the marigold system. Marigold system, or I don't know, federal, not federal, but provincial regulations. And I don't know. What's the marigold system? That's you don't know? The whole <laughs> library system for the province. I mean, you can order. Mum was dead against it, and I think mm. when she was still on the board, she sure didn't want them joining it because it gave the whole province access to the books you had acquired. That's right. And supposedly they would be returned. But well, yeah, meanwhile, your books it are It gave over. you access to every other one. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's online, you can order a book from Grand Prairie if that's the only place it is. If it's not in Cochrane, you just put your... And it arrives, I, I gather, I've never... I think I've done it once, but it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I order more than that. My daughter's done it because I was reading some Preston oh, Child's books yeah. and I couldn't find them. Yeah. <laughs> so she yeah. did it with an order. I order them online the book. and then it's always interesting when I get them to see where they came from. Yeah. The last one I got now is from Swan Hills. No kidding. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is kind of interesting because that's where Bob is. Oh, really? <laughs> were you up in that area too for a while? We were in Drayton, yeah. 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 But then, like her concern, because they had spent so many years building the library and acquiring the books, that they would lose their quantity of books, if you know what I mean. Because they, yeah. would they always be returned? Yeah. I mean, you go to the library now, and there's oftentimes I can't find a book that I would no. like to read. No. You know, if you're looking at a series, for example, yeah. sometimes yeah. And you have to go look on the internet. An article that explained it only came out a year or two ago, so I'll be able to dig that one up. Um, kind of an outcome of this, I hope, is that uh, there's a meeting with the library board in April where they would like to hear from folks about history. Mm -hmm. I know I've got six relatives that are interested in old um, It was funny, though, because my sister Linda was on the library board in uh, Breton. And, um, I was telling her what was going on down at this library here because my grandchildren were learning to read. One was in grade one and the other one was in grade three. And they had somebody coming into the library and she'd bring, bring four kittens. <laughs> and as one child would read to this lady, the other would play with the kittens. So I kept telling Linda, well, you'll have to bring kittens into your library. <laughs> she didn't buy it. <laughs> so they are doing something, they're doing some programs to draw mm -hmm. some interest into reading <laughs> or playing with kittens. Mm. It was your mother that was involved in the library? Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Well, I'd have to go look and see how many years service she had, but it was 30-some. And she probably got involved in the early 50s. Because that, that one picture that I looked at, Vo was there, and uh, yeah, no, there's the one where 
Nan Boothby's there, and it's in the Mrs. Library. Barrows is there, and Vol is there, and Mrs. Hogarth is there, and your mom isn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I don't know what year that would be, but then mom volunteered for, into the late 80s. Yeah, as long as she could. Yeah. She And I remember her being in the community hall, in the basement, in the movie. And then they were in here, I think. Or, no, where were they, where'd they go after the community to hall? To the newer community hall. They were in the basement there for a while. Before well, they went to the... And then to the Catholic Church. Yeah, the, yeah, the Catholic church. church. But then back to the other dedicated library downtown, wasn't it? Mom didn't make it to this one. No. After the Catholic Church, by the That red building that was down there by where Kentucky Fried is. That was the old Catholic Church. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't they... Okay. Then I think... Was that, was that the whole church in the Manser? It was the whole church the because thing. they went from there to the yeah, New Catholic the, Church. The Vance they moved because yeah. you lived in that. They had, remember the little white church they tore down? Yeah. And it was replaced by that cinder block red church that was library. And then yeah. I think from there they went to the present one there. I think so. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Because and I left here in 66 and we didn't move back out here till 85. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff went on. Went on then and a lot of kids yeah. grew up that knew me, but I, did, I didn't know them as adults and stuff. <laughs> so I, I, think think Ma, I think mom was in three places. Wow, she was there a long time. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Mom was, and Emily was, Dorothy was, was Catherine was. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are the four that I really remember as being involved as being in the in library. There. Yeah. I don't think mom was involved. Maybe in the earlier. Uh, I think at the beginning, but I don't think she was involved later on. No, because I don't remember. I don't remember her anywhere but in the basement of the old community hall at the bottom of the stairs. But, but I think they had librarians and then they had a library board too. Like it might have been different people on the board. Yeah. But than the ones that actually were. I wonder if the town minutes would have any record. Yeah, because you see here it says Emily 33. That doesn't make sense. Mom 32, your mom 25, and Dorothy 21. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, then that, yeah. And that's. Uh, I, what date is this? Does that have the date on it? 87. 87. Yeah. So and that's yeah. when they all basically retired. Yeah. So 32 all them at once. would be 55, then, wouldn't it? When they yeah. started. When your mom started. When your mom started. Yeah. 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 Which is pretty well right at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But there was names of different people, like there was a Linda Tomlinson. That was yeah, she was there later on. She was there later on, but mm -hmm. she might have like some of the she gap might. from where these ones left. Yeah. yeah. And I think she was... But where she went? When, yeah. But, and when you talk about being paid, I think she was... She would she have was, been. She was paid because she was staff. Whereas mom and... But I, I remember mom towards the end receiving... Okay. Was she receiving just, some money? Yeah. yeah. Like $5. Yeah. Whatever. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mom did too. I, yeah. I you know, just whether it was the last two or three years or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But... I just wonder if the council minutes might have something in them. You'd think they'd have some discussion. Somebody at the town, I don't know who it would be now, but who might be able to look it up for you. Um, in that period yeah. between 50 and 60 or something, I don't know. Okay. Whenever the town sort of got involved. And it would be interesting to find out when they did join the Marigold 
system because I think that... That's fairly recent, isn't it? Well, relatively recent, yeah. Was your mom still involved with it? No, 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 she wouldn't. She, yeah, she, she wouldn't, like she wouldn't yeah. no. And I think, that's I think they had suggested it earlier and they were they were against it. That's when Shell got involved too because they didn't start building out here until what, early 50s? Yeah, I think they came in and probably, in, I think Dad worked out there when, we, when they sold the farm in 49. I think he might, be, he might have worked out there at the very beginning, the early 50s, not for long. Because I remember they did that, because that's when Godfrey's and Rensselaer and all those guys were the ones who moved in. All those houses built. were built. Got built, built yeah. yeah. Long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, there were 11 or 12 houses that yeah. had ended up being built, but they were all shell houses. Yeah. 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 It seems to me that was 51, 52, something. That's what I'm thinking, and yeah. that's probably that, that picture that I can't remember her first name, Mrs. Barrows. Diana was the daughter, I think. If I and remember. Terry was. Terry was the boy. Betty I think I had him in school. Yeah. Teacher, but. Hmm. I think Shell probably. That would have been about the time they moved to. I think. I think so. Maybe that. Yeah. Was well, they're very close to then. Yeah. Part of what Shell. Did. The Shell might have something in their records too. Yeah. So I don't know who you'd talk to at the town office. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I'll just turn it at the desk. Well, that, yeah. yeah. Somebody that's in charge of archives <laughs> for all council minutes. And well, maybe, maybe Susan might know. Susan, Susan Flowers might. Susan, we yeah. were asking her, you know, if she has a. Yeah, that's probably a good entry here. way is, is to get them hold of somebody on the council that you know, like Susan or Tara McFadden. Of those people have gone. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you can, it probably helps if you say, Well, Susan Flower said this is what I should talk to. Yeah. <laughs> it, might, it might pick the area of the because we were going to look at one point for a conference centennial. Dave and I, I think, it's sort of approached the town about looking at old council minutes, but we just never had time mm -hmm. to, to do it. But apparently, they have them. The library itself should have, like when these people left. Well, yeah, as to who came in after. And well, that's where I wonder where all the <laughs> stuff went. So. Yeah, you do, don't you? Because yeah, because they're if they're looking for history now, yeah. why aren't they looking in their files? Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't. And at one time, they used to have books that they wouldn't let leave the library. You could look at them, but you would have to stay there. Yes, sort of yeah. yeah. So, or like some of these history books, these they didn't just lend those yeah, out right. yeah. um, because some of them you can't replace. Yeah. I think there are probably still some. There should be, but I think that you can't yeah. When you talk about them going to get books, did, did they take the train to Calgary and go get books or no? Right. Very high. Yeah. Hard <laughs> stroke story. Yeah, because it was probably the train earlier than that. Eh? Well, if you went in on the train in the morning, you had to wait till midnight to come home, I think, because there's only Where's two that? trains one way each well, day. I, I remember going in and back on the train. Well, I, I remember going on the train. Home. Was, it, was it that late that we came? I remember Dad, Dad and I went to Stampede one time when we came <laughs> home. And the train didn't stop till it got down almost opposite the museum. So we had to walk from there back. Yeah, like I think the bus, because it went in at 10 in the morning, I think it came up, it was one at 6 at night. I can remember taking the bus, yeah. So I think that's, I remember them going on the bus. Right? And your sister told that story about coming back on the bus and your folks thought okay. she was you know, on the train at midnight and your folks thought she was lost. And well, no, what happened is she and your mother, I ran into somebody in town who, who were going to watch
watch the fireworks at 12 Mile Blue Hill. Oh, yeah. And said, why don't you come along? And of course, Eileen nor Dorothy had ever told their mom and dads where they were. <laughs> and you know what time the fireworks start. They weren't home it's by 11. <laughs> My understanding is that the whole town went looking for these two girls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, can anybody think of any more leads to track down some history? Any what? Any more leads? Leads. Papers, obviously, the town office and show. Are any of these folks still around? I don't know about the Steve's family. Well, the Steve's family, Linda, whatever. Yeah, yeah, she would be in touch there. Lapwell's, I don't imagine David has that much knowledge, does he? No. Probably not. I don't know if Myrna might. Yeah, she might. Myrna Lapwell from Edge. Jim McPherson might. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what how well Jim is. But, but this just takes us to 50 oh, years son. ago, don't you okay. mean something between then and now? Sorry? Like after these ones left? Yeah, that's sort of where the, the gap is, isn't it? What happened? Sort of after they moved from the Yeah. Or even, like, I don't remember Mom being at the Catholic Church. So even? Even, yeah, from, from the Catholic the Church. Office up like, to I the think they pretty well finished. Maybe they were for a short time, but. That should be reported somewhere in, in the Cochrane Times, I would think. When they moved from there. Yeah. Because the Cochrane Times was operating, wasn't it, at that time? Well, yeah, and I mean, they should be able to go back to the building for and that sort of stuff too to see when this library was built and when that one was, you know, rezoned to a library. And, and then you should be able to get some names of who was yeah. in. It seems to me that the old Catholic Church, didn't the fire department have something to do with that at one time? That the building was in such bad shape that it was sort of condemned? I think but so. But wasn't the fire department using it to store stuff in at one time? After the library had moved? What I'm thinking of, back to the Cochrane Times, if you go to the Stockman's, they have a lot of the old Cochrane Times a way back there that you can read. They have the old timers almost back to 1941 in the Cochrane Times. I would probably have the Eagle as well, but it would be the Cochrane Times, I think, at that time that would have stuff in it. Okay, I'll go talk to Scott. Yeah, I mean, it's all there. You just find the binder, and they're all in binders. And you just sit down and read. Take your book, <laughs> your notebook, and a pen. I don't do anything that way. Well, take your blink, <laughs> take your phone. Blink and phone and make a picture. Take a picture. Go ahead. Can I can I can a copy of your sister's recollection? See, the only sure. Thank you. And I don't I, like. I don't know if you didn't. Uh, and then, and then that that is interesting actually. Her list sure, of she's <laughs> might remember some more too. Is yeah. Judy still alive? Judy? I don't know. Shirley. Judy? Oh yeah, Eileen just passed away. Eileen yeah. Steves. Yeah, but Shirley's older, so I'm thinking she mm -hmm. might have more. Mm -hmm. She might, might, might remember more. Yeah. I don't think Marion would remember much because she was in Swan Hills, but. Sure, yeah, sure she, was, she was around. She was gone by that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wonder if uh, the Howes were really involved, were they? I was wondering about Gordon, no. whether he might have any information, but probably doesn't. No. And Ellie's family wasn't. The, these, these were the long term threat. These yeah, were. They certainly were. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad your mom's picture isn't here. But wait, on the one article, it yeah. just mentioned her name. Yeah. Yeah, I 
think Emily got mom started there. Yeah. Well, they used to be at the community hall, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they used to take tickets at the door. They started in the sawmills, mom and Black Oaks. In where? The sawmills with Kendra. Oh. I've got a picture of Bob Lathwell and Marion mm -hmm. in, in the sawmills in the 30s. And where were those sawmills? Well, there was one at Jumping Pound oh. and one at Morley and oh, okay. one up by Butter's Place. Never had seen and that was all mm -hmm. Kendra. And your dad worked for them? Yep. As well as Lathwell? And Lathwell oh, and uh, Floyd Steves. Oh, okay. And uh, Gordon Gray's dad was Gray's dad. Interesting. Frank's brother. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so the Lathwells and Beavis go back a long time then. Yeah. Yep. After eight o'clock, I don't mean to keep you a long time tonight. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, thank you. I mean, I'll let you know the time I'm, mean. It's fun. I'm really quite surprised. I'll give that. You can put the other papers in that. There's no history there that anybody can put their hands on.